Hello and welcome to this introduction to the RCloud Integrated Development Environment video tutorial. In this video, I'll demo various features of the RCloud IDE using the public instance, which you may access at rcloud.social through our Try It page. However, before we begin, I'd like to point out that you may also install RCloud locally to set up a private local RCloud so that only users within your organization may access your web-based RCloud content. I'm going to access the public instance of RCloud as a data scientist, or in other words, as a registered user who has the ability to create, edit, and share data analyses. Since I've previously set up an RCloud account, which is linked to my GitHub account for automatic version control, the login button, or the URL rcloud.social forward slash login.r, will bring me straight into the RCloud IDE. You are now viewing the RCloud IDE. It is roughly composed of a header bar, a left window shade panel, a right window shade panel, and in the center are prompt and markdown cells. You may customize this environment by collapsing or expanding the left and right window shade panels using the plus and minus keys. The left window shade panel contains a directory of RCloud sample notebooks, which on the public instance are tutorial notebooks containing examples of RCloud API and interesting data analyses and visualizations. In the left window shape panel, there is also a directory of users who have created notebooks on the public instance. This is where the real social coding begins, because every registered user has access to the contents of everyone else's directory of notebooks. Many of the other features of rCloud have been added to make this access really useful to data scientist teams, such as notebook protection and group information, version history, starring notebooks, search functionality, adding comments, notebook visibility, and notebook discovery, which allows users to see the most popular notebooks in the system. These popular notebook thumbnails also highlight rCloud's Shiny and JavaScript integration, which includes popular libraries like Leaflet, DC, and HTML widgets. Unlike other IDEs where you have to open a file or start a new project to begin editing, rCloud automatically starts you off in a notebook, which is named Notebook 1 by default. You may change this default notebook name and other environmental variables using the Settings panel. Create a new notebook using the plus symbol at the top of the left window shape panel. Rename your notebook by editing the notebook name in the header bar or in the left window shape panel. To edit a notebook name, click the notebook, enter a new name, and hit return. Create directories using a forward slash. When you hover your cursor over a notebook name, several icons appear to the right of the notebook, including an X symbol, which allows you to delete a notebook. Next, we will explore R prompt cells. Prompt cells mimic an interactive R or Python session or a bash shell. Type a line of code, press enter, and the command is immediately executed. You may also execute commands in the scratch pad in the right window shape panel by using command enter. This also works for highlighted blocks of code. In this block of code, it may be observed that I don't need to preface library ggplot2 with install packages ggplot2, as the most popular packages have already been installed on the rCloud platform. Since these packages are installed in a main library, when you share your notebook, you don't have to worry about differing environmental variables like missing R packages. Prompt cells may be changed to markdown cells using the drop-down UI at the top of each cell. Edit a markdown cell by clicking the edit icon in the cell's header bar. You 
you may change the order of prompt and markdown cells by dragging and dropping them to the desired location. To execute the edited code, in this case the edited markdown, in an individual cell, click the play button in the cell header bar. If you wanted to run the entire notebook, you would use the play button in the notebook header bar. The green circle indicates the cell has run successfully. There are seven cell run state indicators, which you may read about in detail here by pausing the video, but you may also find this information in our documentation pages. Delete cells by ticking the box of the relevant cell and clicking the trash can icon at the top of the notebook. Edit code by clicking anywhere within a cell or using the edit icon. This example highlights some of rCloud's syntax checking functionality. You may save plots in different file formats using the Save icon in the rCloud UI. You may resize a plot in the rCloud UI by placing your mouse in the lower right-hand corner of the plot until the arrow button appears and then dragging the plot to the desired size. Every time you use the Save or Run buttons in the header bar or the Run button in a cell, rCloud saves a version of your notebook as a GitHub gist. To browse previous versions of your notebook, which are stored chronologically with the latest version on top, hover over your notebook name in the left window shape panel, and then click the clock icon. You may also reference older versions of your notebook through version tagging. This reference is formed from the URL of the notebook with and tag equals plus the name of the notebook. Prompt and markdown cells may be split and joined. To split a cell, position your cursor between the two characters and use the break icon. Join a cell to the one directly above using the Join icon. Another important unique social coding feature of rCloud is the ability to share notebooks with non-data scientists. Since rCloud is a web-based application, notebooks may be shared as URLs. As may be seen in this example, only published notebooks are accessible to users without an rCloud login. There are many other unique features of rCloud, including OCAP security, mini and notebook.r views, and data loading techniques, which will be detailed in other videos. But all of rCloud's features together make it an effective platform for the creation, reproduction, and sharing of big data analyses.